are you doing? What are you trying to get into? Hi, Gordy. How do you say hi? Are you drinking your leche? That's, that's Dada. Yeah, that's Dada. And who else? Who else is there? Is Mama chopped liver? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. This morning I woke up and I threw on this super like old lady thrifted sweater that I got at Goodwill and I was like, don't worry, like I'll just take it off before I start vlogging. That didn't happen. So you guys are gonna see me looking like an old lady today. What you doing? Oh, what's going on? Dada, 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 dada. Yeah, Dada's in the screensaver. But so is Mama. Can you say Mama? Mama. Dada and Mama. That's the face I get now every time <laughs> that I take something away from her. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Things have been like that, you guys, the last few days. It's like nonstop screaming and screeching and whining and crying. And I'm trying to just keep it together, but it's really hard. I think she's teething. Um, she's definitely teething like she's constantly putting her fingers in her mouth, but none of the freaking little teeth come out yet So hopefully like we can get this over with soon and we've also adjusted like her nap schedule to like one nap I think I talked about that on like the last vlog. I don't think it's going very well I think she's very tired. So I don't know. It's just been a hot mess over here. We have officially lost the patty There's no more hamburger patty. It's just the bacon and the lettuce just just a bacon sandwich so all you're gonna have, just bacon and bread? Dad, I would be so proud. Riley is still not walking, you guys. She is 14 months old, and she is the laziest little 14 month old baby I have ever seen in my life. She will stand like this all day long, just like that on the couch, but she does not wanna take any steps yet. So if you guys have little ones who are walking yet, let me know at what age they started walking. Who's talking to you on the phone? Say hello. Ow, you almost landed that on my toe. There's nothing in there for you, mama. Oh my goodness. Oh, say hello. Hi, my name is Riley. Is it for mama now? Again? Almost did a freaking throw that on my toe. I wanted to show you guys this. I ordered this on Amazon this week and I have loved it for Riley. Um, I read it to her this morning when she was eating her breakfast, but it's a Bible like for little kids that you can just like read them the stories and there's all the pictures. But I had heard about it on a podcast and they said that they recommended it for like kiddos or like anyone who's like new to the faith. They said it's like a really great way to just like read about some of the stories in the Bible. And so far it's really great. But she was like really paying attention. It was so cute. So I'm gonna leave this link down below in case you guys are interested. For those of you who might be wondering, I grew up Catholic, but Joe didn't really grow up like going to church every Sunday. Um, I grew up pretty much almost every Sunday going to church, not so much as an adult, but Point is like Joe was like Christian, like I guess he was baptized, but he wasn't um, just like familiar with like going to church. I told him that now that we have Riley, we are gonna be teaching her about faith and we are gonna be teaching her like Christian principles. So I do want her to get familiar with like the stories of the Bible. So he's gonna be reading that um, Jesus storybook Bible to her. So I think that that's something cute that they can do. And then Joe through reading it can kind of learn more about the stuff that, you know, I, kind of got to know growing up. I'm not gonna lie, like I went to Catholic school. I went to Catholic school um, from seventh grade on. So seventh grade, like middle school and high school, I went to Catholic school. And again, that was kind of like my upbringing. And then after high school, I kind of like did my own thing, didn't really go to church, kind of started to just kind of figure out what faith meant to me as a person, not just like what my family wanted me to think of faith as. And so for a long time, I really haven't gone to church and you know especially now with Riley it's been hard not that that's an excuse you know I know that I could take her to church if I wanted to but it hasn't really been the primary focus of 
just my family. Now that she's getting a little older and now that she's starting to like understand things, I do want to make it a point to kind of come back to faith a little bit and to kind of just incorporate some of those elements into our family life. For me, I think it's important. Not judging anybody based on how they practice or what they practice or if they practice at all. Like everybody's family is different. Everybody is allowed to feel however they want to feel. But it is something that I'm trying to do a little bit more of, which is one of the reasons why I bought this. I bought this woman's study Bible and I love it. I got it on Amazon. One of the things about this Bible that I like is that there's like a lot of like commentary in here and like different um, just ways of explaining things because like the actual Bible itself can sometimes be a little bit confusing. So I like that there's like different like charts and then like down here they have like actual like explanations of different verses. So again, if this is kind of your jam, if you like um, just reading scripture, if you've kind of been confused by scripture in the past, this is a book that I highly recommend. I have loved it so far. And then this is my bookmark <laughs> right here for the Bible. This is a photo of Riley and Joe. So freaking cute. I think she's like four months old here, but I love this photo of them. Oh, it's not even 11 o'clock, but I'm gonna have these Sour Patch. I really haven't even eaten breakfast, so this is basically my breakfast. These are like my favorite Sour Patch, these giant ones, they're super sour. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so sad today? You live the best life. You just get to like hang out. You can drink your leche, no? Why are you so sad? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. This has been my life the last few days. Hello. Hello. God. It's kind of like funny, but also really just, I just want to like run away. <laughs> oh my baby. That's it, that's all I had to do. I said, do you want some puffs? And she stopped crying. Those are the little snack cups that I mentioned in um, the video that I filmed, um, that I posted on Wednesday. And these are the happy baby puffs, but it doesn't really matter. She has never had a puff that she didn't like. How did you shake, shake, shake? Oh yeah. Yesterday was also a rough day because she was feeling the same way and I had to go get my car serviced. So, oh my God, that was like a shit show of the day. I'm sorry, that was just a rough day. First of all, it cost me $700 to get my car serviced. Like that's, that's freaking outrageous. Like I don't have like a Maserati. I don't have a freaking like expensive car. I have a Jetta. So why it was $700, I have no idea. But since we're talking about money, I can probably show you guys. I wanted to update you a little bit on my cash envelope system. Um, I talked about it, I think on one of the vlogs that Joe and I have been using the cash envelope system, whatever, um, to kind of keep track of our money. These are some of my envelopes, the ones that like I keep on me like most of the time, like the other ones are usually in the safe. So I have like a little lunch envelope and then I keep track on the back of like what I spend. I'm gonna show you guys my envelope so you can see. The only <laughs> food that I have had out has been Taco Bell. All right here, like the date that I, you know, had the food and then like how much it cost and then my balance, like what was left. So for the month of February, I had $50 to spend like for eating out like lunch. And then I still have $31 in here and I just keep all my cash in here and it's just been so organized. I've been loving this. And then this has been my spending envelope. I had $200 at the beginning of the month and then I went to Target. I spent some money on Amazon, CVS. So I went from $200 to $81 that I still have left. But yeah, that system has worked really nice for us this month. It was the first month that we did it, but it's been really good. It's really helped us to save money, to not overspend. Um, we definitely decreased our spending on groceries this month, which was like such a great thing because like in the month of December, I don't know what the heck we bought, but we spent $1,200 on groceries and I was like, like, how do you spend $1,200 on groceries? So this month, I think we spent less than $600 because we put $600 in the envelope and we still have like 170 something dollars left. But yeah, if you guys wanna see a full dedicated video on this system and how we have just done it from start to finish and just any questions you guys have about that system, leave them down below. Let me know if that's a video that you would wanna see and I'd be happy to make it for you because yeah, this is my life now. Look at this child, just eating all the puffs. And she's watching Mickey. I just gave Riley her lunch and now I'm giving her one of these plum organic little snack bars. Here, trying to teach her how to bite things. She's doing a really good job, even though that was a massive piece. I'm gonna get her changed and put her down for her nap. How do you give a big kiss? Oh, that's so nice. How do you say mama? 
Mama. Do you feel better right now? You happy you're gonna take a little nap? Riley, how do you say caca? Caca. <laughs> she says caca now. How do you clap your hands? Yay! that rug was disgusting there were so many crumbs and just things all over it so i like to vacuum it at least once a day if i don't do it now during nap time i'll do it like right before bed but i've probably been like two or three days since i last vacuumed that so i needed that desperately so now i'm just gonna start putting some of her toys in my office and bringing out some new toys i told you guys that the food truck and the little ice cream truck like the bigger toys i don't swap out but like some of these I'm going to swap out. Her books will stay and then I'll just bring some new stuff for her to play with. All right, so now baby girl has some new toys to play with. The magnets I kept out because she loves these Melissa and Doug magnets and they're super good for like teaching her different sounds and we use these a lot, so I kept those out. But she has like this little dog now that she can play with. This one's really good too. It's one of those things that like you pull on this and then um, it does like the sounds of the animals. So we teach her a lot of the animal sounds with that. This is like a little pretend tablet. And then these are the big giant blocks so i swapped out the other set of blocks that she has she has new ones to play with and then she's got this little shape sorter and these blocks these are also melissa and doug and they're like stacking blocks she really likes these so it'll be fun to see like what she does now that she sees all these new toys look at this baby by the way she was so so tired hopefully she'll nap for at least a little while so that i can just relax baby girl is awake yeah. Papa. How was your nap? I hear mama. Elephant. Yeah? Mm. Elephant? That's how she does elephant. Mm. Yep. Mm. Elephant. Good job. How do you do a little dance? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Are you in a better mood? Turn off her little sound machine so I can actually hear her. Can you give mom a big kiss? Thank you. How do you say baby? How do you say baby? How do you say baby? <laughs> she has like the rhythm down. How do you say baby? <laughs> How do you dance? To baby shark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she sees she sees her changing table like where I change her diaper, and now she says caca, which is poop in Spanish. She just spotted her new toys. She's like, wait a second. I remember these. Oh my goodness! You have new toys to play with. Want this one? Here, we'll play with this one. Okay, you need to be quiet. Okay. Um, let's do, let's do the, where's the other one? Where's this one? Okay. How does a cow go? How does a cow go? How does a cow go? Is that your dog? I've never seen her play with this little dog so much. You give him a little hug. Can you find my blue button? Oh dear. Poor dog. All right, so we'll be here the rest of the afternoon just playing with her toys. Maybe I'll watch Grey's Anatomy because I think I have an episode to catch up on. But I really accomplished like all the things that I really needed to do today. I needed to call the dentist to make an appointment. I needed to do the toy rotation. I wanted to vlog. 
and oh i wanted to paint my nails which i already did this morning then i will hang out relax like i said i'll watch tv or listen to a podcast i also want to cook some fish tonight for dinner and hopefully i can have that ready before joe gets home so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because i started editing the vlog when riley was napping and it's already super long but i hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today i'm so sorry that riley was very cranky today but that's just real life you know i love that most days she's in a good mood and i can film just happy clips of us just enjoying life but there are other days when this is this is real life this is reality of being a mom at home with a toddler so anyway thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much if you did enjoy this vlog make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i will see you in the next one bye guys